Hey guys, it's Ghost Gamer here. I'm not, I couldn't find any good games to play now, and I still don't have any good games. Game. But there's this app called Survival Manual. It's free, a small app, and does not require internet. And it basically teaches you how to survive in the wilderness. You can do in shelter, food, water, fire, and tools. And you can download it yourself and read all this, but I'm going to be taking a look at the art. So, let's get into it. Oh, there's also a lot more stuff, too. But I'm only going to be doing those. So, seems like this would protect you from the wind. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, yeah. Uh, and this is a poncho canopy. Or parachute canopy. That is fairly big and would help you. And there's... Oh, yeah. There's a good schedule. It's how to keep it up if you don't have any sticks. And this is one I fairly do like. This is a weird one, don't know how this would work, but this is another one I like, and a lot of stuff here that gives you in-depth ideas on how these would work. Let's go into water now. Again, you can read all this, and yeah, that would work. If you guys heard that noise, it was the only I had the recording real quick, but yeah, this is one I do like because it's our state, or one that would work reusably. And these are all pretty good, anyway. This is one that you could do at your house, I think. You don't need any trees or anything. And here's another one. Yeah. So, here's another one, and so let's get on to the next one. No, don't want that. Okay, fire. This is one that gives you an in-depth perception on how these things would work. Yeah, this would help a lot. So, the airflow would go into the tube and feed the fire and air. While the heat goes up and cooks the food above the fire, and then this will sing on the side of the fire, um, would feed into the tree, I think, and disperse the smoke. And I guess that's just how to have a fire in a snow covered area. Yeah. Well, here's other stuff that would work, and I think that you should try that out sometime. But here are now ways to do it. Hardwood, softwood, yeah, that makes sense. The drill bow technique, or the bow drill. But now we need food and tools. To be done. So this is what I look at a lot because it's pretty cool. Or no, not this one actually. It's tools, but this is one that would work too. So I assume these are ones that you can eat. Don't know about the urchin, but rest I do know. And porcupine fish and puffer fish. Thorn fish, trigger fish, red snapper, jack, cowfish, and oil fish. Don't know about those. If you can eat that. Yeah, these ones do have poisonous um, skin. But here's another way to get it. Food. I guess if you really want to eat a bird, do this, but I do not recommend it. You can watch. 
There is also this. A snare, which put in front of a rodent stud, will catch and break the neck. Or choke. And this is another one. And this is like a bigger perception perspective of what it would look like and this is what it would look like if you caught one so and here's the gory part so if you guys are not good with like blood and tissue and stuff like that then look away or click off the video now well not these those are more but let's keep going down And it should be down here soon. Here it is. Break off the neck after you're grabbing your dead snake. Slit the belly and remove the innards. Then remove the skin. Oh no. Yeah. Cut the hide around the body. Insert two fingers under the hide and both fingers cut and pull the pieces off. This would be how to cook them. I do not recommend it. And there's one more category. Tools. This is the one I look at frequently. Because these are real tools that you could use. Weeded club. I actually thought this was axe the first time I saw it. Sorry, I'm filming this outside, so if you heard the cars, then sorry about that. But first time I saw this, I thought it was the axe, but it's a weeded club. These are different ways to make them, though. Another another weighted club. And good knife or a flint knife, I think. Stone knife. Okay. Bamboo spear. Yes. Okay, um, rabbit stick, also known as the hunting boomerang, as I call it, but you throw it and it'll probably hurt or break the leg of a rabbit or rodent, and you can cook them by then. S Ebola. Sorry about that, they came to let me in. This is how you create a rope. I don't know what this is. I think it's a backpack, but I am not sure. Another form of water. Actually, a container for boiling food and water. Yes. So, you can read all this yourself. I think this is what or I'm gonna edit. So, bye!